Hi guys and welcome to Yagi's Corner. If this is your first time, thank you for clicking on my video. And if you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back. Um, I know it's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> I've just been really, really busy. Busy with uh, work, with the family, life. It's been a little crazy. But um, today I had a bunch of projects to do around the house and I was like, you know what, I need to relax. And the way I relax is by putting on a face and filming videos. All right, guys. So today I have a haul video for you. I'm going to show you a couple of things that not so exciting things I purchased and something I thought I would never, ever purchase. Okay, so let's start off with the... Um, not so fun stuff all right so and i've already tried these so you know i'm going to give you my my opinion so i purchased the garnier black peel off mask with charcoal thinking it was going to be like um those masks that you see on tiktok or something that literally rips your face off um i wasn't impressed at all this um i'll tell you right now um the Biore strips does a much better job than this. This was like I had nothing on my face. It was such a waste of money. So I really don't recommend this if that's what you think you're gonna get. Okay. I'll use I'll use it, you know, maybe I'll just like really layer it on and leave it for an hour and see if that does anything, but I don't think so. All right. The next thing I purchased was my Lumify eye drops. These are amazing. Uh, I always put these on before I film a video or I am going to, it's really early in the morning and I have a Zoom call and um, sometimes my Zoom calls are at 7, 7.30 in the morning because, you know, I have to Zoom with people across the other side of the world, <laughs> like in Asia, so I need these desperately. All right, so these are amazing. I always purchase them when I have a coupon in CVS, okay? And that reminds me, mm, I need to go pick something up at CVS. All right, next, I purchased um, the Lancome Micellar Water, but I had no idea. I thought this was the big size, no. This is the big size. So as you can see, I am almost, I'm halfway done with this one. And yeah, so when I saw that they had the big size, I was like, and the price difference between these two is not that much. So I was like, definitely, I'm gonna get this. And I got this and a um, blush, which you've probably already seen, okay. Um, this is a beautiful color. This is called Miel Glacé. Beautiful color. Okay, that I put in another video, so I don't want to go too much into that. And then I got a gift with purchase. So online, I thought this was going to be like um, raffia material, like straw material. And I said, oh, you know, this is going to be like a little pretty clutch. It wasn't, but that's fine because I still really like it. It's very... Um, it's like almost tweed, but it has like little gold shimmers in it. Oh, I still haven't taken off the plastic. And yeah, so I thought it was really pretty. It opens up great when you have makeup. And then the gift with purchase included, it included a... Lancome's gift with purchase are really, really good. That's why whenever you're going to buy the micellar water or the um, makeup remover, just wait till they have a sale or something. Uh, so this is this Revital Eye Cream. Uh, this is the Absolute Nourishing Lip Balm. Oh, a lip balm. Okay. The absolute soft cream the genifique youth activating concentrate 
So all these little things I take when I go on the trip. The Lancome, um, let's see, which mascara? Stephanie Seals in black. And then finally, a blush sutil palette in the colors. It has a contour, a blush in the color. Oh my gosh, this is so far a joy. And then a highlighter. Not cute. You can also use these as eyeshadows. You know, because it's kind of hard to get a brush <laughs> in here. So I think for eyeshadows, this is a very cute little um, compact. Okay, so that was um, that was the gift with purchase for Lancome. I also purchased these Earth Therapeutic Therapeutic Therapeutics um, Green Tea Hydro Gel Under Eye Patches. I really like these. So. I purchased from this same brand. I purchased the um, the foot mask that peels off off that all that dead skin. They are amazing. I'm, I mean, it's gross, but it leaves your feet incredible. It takes a week and a half for the peeling process to start. You know, it depends, but it's amazing. And so I purchased two because I think it was like buy one get one. But I really like them. I've already tried them and I really, really like them. So they leave your eyes uh, very soft, bouncy, hydrated, moisturized. I really like them. Like if there's a day you have to, um, you know, uh, let's say you're going somewhere special and you just want a little bit of an eye treatment right before you start, you know, putting on your makeup. This is a nice, um, this is a nice little treat. So I wanted to give you an update on the cream that I purchased, the Avene Seracom AD. It's okay. It's not as good as the other one. I think I'll put a picture up here. Um, it's good. I just like the other one better. Okay. I mean, it's it's still a great cream, but I think I prefer the other one. And I also purchased the Maybelline um, Instant Age. What's wrong with me? The Instant Age Rewind Eraser for under the eyes. I purchased a more yellow tone and a more um, pink tone just to correct the under eyes discoloration, okay? Um, still working on the ones I have. I won't open these up just yet. Okay, and then for the, <laughs> for the purchases that I thought I would never, ever um, make, and why? Because I never saw myself using, um, well, first of all, the brand, you know, it's um, Pat McGrath. I've used, I've purchased some of their, um, some of her lip glosses, which are great. The lipsticks, mm, I'm not much that into the um, matte look. Today I have on the Dior, um, it's one of their um, matte, uh, liquid li liquid lips it's okay what I do like about it is that what I do like about it is that it goes on cool so what I did is I actually mixed two um, colors or products first I put on the lip oil and then I put this on and it feels really nice and um so yeah Pat McGrath I had purchased a couple of her um um Lip products, lipsticks, I did not like them, but her lip liners, I do like, okay? And, you know, I always would go by and swatch the eyeshadows. I thought, wow, if only I could wear those shiny, um, uh, shimmery, amazing shades. I mean, I've always dreamt of putting those shades, but then... You know, a lot of artists, makeup artists say, well, if you're over 50, you shouldn't. And my eyelids are a little bit on the wrinkly side. Okay, they're not as, my eyelids are not as flat and stretched out as they used to be. Like, I have wrinkles. So I always said, mm, you know, I don't want to use them. It's going to be a hot mess. But you know what? I found out that if you're using the right brushes, Okay, so 
this was all when I purchased my um, refer brushes, um, which they had an amazing sale. Um, and that's the only time I would ever suggest buying them because they're pretty expensive when there's no sale going on. So just wait for the sale, okay? Um, when I started using those brushes, you know, I started diving into some other colors that I was like, hmm, you know, I never really have this type of eye look, like warm colors because I'm safe with my neutrals colors. But I was like, you know what? I think I am going to purchase them. I think I'm going to give it a try. So I went ahead and I went a little crazy purchasing Pat McGrath. So I purchased one, two, three. Oh gosh, they're heavy. Four palettes, okay? Just going to quickly maybe just swatch some of the colors that stood out from each palette that made me buy it, okay? So the first palette is the, and this is from her Mothership collection. So this is Mothership One Subliminal, okay? And I have to keep the packaging. Why? Because on all these um, palettes, they don't necessarily have the name of the palette itself. I don't know why, but they just don't. Okay, I'm going to, now I'm gonna take off the plastic because I was waiting to do the video to take off the plastic. Oh my gosh, I chopped off my nails and I don't, okay, here we go. Ah. I love that. Okay, guys, look at this. Oh, it's super, super heavy, thick packaging in the back. There's like a gold um, metallic um, plate. She's got these um, little, it says PM, L for labs, and I'm not sure what the other stuff means. It looks like that last symbol is an evil eye, which that's cool. Okay, so guys look at this okay i am gonna take this sticker off too and the mirrors on these like they're beveled i mean she didn't skimp on this packaging okay so the color in this palette in subliminal that made the, and I believe this was, yeah, the first one. So the color that made me buy this palette was, well, first thing, I looked at this side of the palette and I said, wow, that's a nice neutral, cool neutrals uh, color. You could totally use this every day, okay? I said, okay, I'm gonna get a, a lot of use out of this because I will definitely use these six colors on this side. But look at this, okay? Look at this blue. Now, check this out. Guys, this is what is so interesting about these shades. If you look at, this one looks like a light yellow gold. This one here, when you're looking straight at it, looks like an ice blue, but look in the mirror, it looks pink. And then this is a white. So I'm gonna swatch this one and this one, which were the two interesting colors in this palette that made me buy it. Okay. I'm so scared I'm gonna drop these. Okay, so I'm going in. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. This. Then I'm going to swatch that other shade that looked pink. Wow. This is gorgeous. Oh my god look at that so i'm definitely going to do a look with this it's going to be on the cool side and i want to pair this up with like black eyeliner black mascara and probably a nude lip and a cool toned um blush but i've always wanted to do a look like this look at those two colors gorgeous 
Okay, so that was Mothership One. Subliminal. Just and I mean talk about the pigmentation. There we go. You really have to work at it to take this off. But yes, so I've been playing around with a lot of these eyeshadows and I love them. The quality is amazing. Okay, so the two shades I swatched were called Blitz Blue. That was that dark blue. And they are violet. Okay. So yeah, I need to put it back in the packaging. If not, I'll never know what palette. I'm going to be picking up okay the next one and I'll go in order in the order that um I guess she came out with them um let's see okay so the other one I purchased was okay so the other one I purchased is Mothership 2 Sublime okay I love this Again, black, gold, and and I really like this because you can like totally do your eyes in this mirror. This is some thick mirror. Okay, guys look at this okay again um the shades and i don't know if this is a theme in her palettes the way she sets them up but this is i'm not sure what, this is very neutral okay you can totally do a day look and a evening look with this okay but then look at this side and if you look at depends on how this shape it looks green here but then it looks like purple okay this color is beautiful too so yeah i'm going to swatch these two maybe i'll swatch this one too and maybe this one they're all so pretty okay so let's go ahead and do some swatches <sighs> guys look at this green it's like a true emerald green. Look at that. But then it's got that. Oh God, I know there's a name for it. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. It's so smooth and silky. Let me do one more. This is a pretty color. This is like a coppery color. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So the colors I swatched are So that first one is Iconic, then Blitz Emerald, Bronze, Astral Ghost Orchid, VR Nectar, and Rose Dusk. That's beautiful. And this is gorgeous too, the Nectar. Oh my God, all of these, all of these are so pretty. Next palette. I purchased Mothership number six, Midnight Sun. First of all, the artwork on these. Okay. Okay. This one I have used. Let me take off this. Guys, oh, 
I think you guys know why I picked this one. Okay, look at this. Look at this, 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 wow. And again, this is a great, if you're into that sort of thing where, oh, it's autumn, you know, you know, these colors are very like autonomous. Um, but you could totally do a um, very uh, simple, neutral look with this. Okay, these two, these two, this one. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to swatch some colors for you. Look at this purple. Wow. Okay. She's something else. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Okay. So the colors I swatched are um, Blitz Violet Orchid, Blood Moon, okay, Jubilee. Vermilion Venom <laughs> and Wicked Envy. Guys, wow. Can you imagine just these three here, how beautiful they would look? Look at this color. Okay. So this is um, Midnight Sun. And the fourth palette is Mothership 7 Divine Rose. Okay, I think, I think maybe it's when she came out with this one that I was like, oh my goodness, I really need to get my hands on at least one. Because she used to sell individual eyeshadows. I don't think she does anymore. And um, that's when I started really, this one is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this. And I'm usually not into like these pinks and purples, you know. Um, I had purchased the Tarte Juicy and I used it and it was so pretty, but I wasn't reaching for it. So I gave that one to one of my nieces and now I want to purchase it again. So I think I'm going to stick just with this one because although they do now have a little, um, Tarte does have a smaller version of that Juicy um, palette, but look at these colors. Now this is totally, like you could totally do very neutrals. Um, if you're not into those funky, amazing, beautiful colors and you're more of a neutrals uh, person, I think this would be the perfect palette for you. Look at this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna swatch. Let's see, I think I'm gonna swatch this one, this one and this one, okay? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Okay. Oh, this is like ice.
Okay, so I swatched Rose Venus, VR Rose Venus, Astral Solstice, Refined Gold, Valor, Valoria, and Lovelace. Valoria and Lovelace. That's these two colors are gorgeous. Let me just swatch one more. Ooh, look at that. That's skin show nude. Oh, these three colors would be beautiful. And this one's just good. I mean, they're all gorgeous. <laughs> okay, guys. So I've played around with this one. I will definitely do a dedicated look using all these okay i think i've already done one using um i want to say using midnight sun i'm almost positive or i don't know if i even uploaded that video i'm sorry it's been crazy okay yeah you have to really go at it to clean these and i think i'm gonna Hmm. What oh yes, I'm going to put on Rose Venus as a topper. Okay, so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. I'm gonna go in light. Okay. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at that. Oof. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then just for what's that saying? And giggles <laughs> I'm going to put that solstice in my inner corner but for that I'll use a brush it's snowing okay guys oh wow Oof. There's some fallout, but that's fine. Okay. Let me just now blend these. Hmm. Now flip it and then blend these two. Okay, so I have wrinkly eye, uh, eyelids. Who says you cannot put this on? And it still looks gorgeous. Wow, guys. I cannot wait to start really playing around with these. And you know what I used to do when I was like younger? I would always tap a little bit. Obviously, this is not the lipstick for it. But I was always... um trying to like add more to my lips and make them look poutier and i would always add like a little bit of um um eyeshadow on it and pat it to uh kind of reflect a little bit you just again just playing around Mm. Mm. I do see it. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but
Mm, it added a little bit of a gold shimmer. Mm, see that? Anyways, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um. Oh, I didn't tell you that. Did I tell you the names of the colors I swatched? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes. Okay. So if you enjoyed this video and um, you were or you've been thinking of picking up one of these Pat McGrath's, um, Pat McGrath Labs palettes, Mothership palettes, by all means, go right ahead because they are gorgeous. They are quality. They're pigmented. As you can see in all of these four um, palettes that I picked up, you can absolutely do a neutrals look and then just, you know, bling it up a little bit with those four eyeshadows that are always here. And this is always the more neutral, you know, everyday look. And you can use these to, and you can use these to um, add a little bit of bling to it. Okay, guys. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, if you want to grab it and you can't do it in the Sephora sale, maybe wait for the Pat McGrath sale. Um, again, I waited years to get these. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't leave without subscribing. Okay. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.